Beetles are a very successful animal. They can be found everywhere on Earth, except in the polar regions and the seas, and come in an enormous variety of sizes, shapes, colors, diets, and habits. They inhabit a vitally important place in the world's ecosystems, breaking down plant and animal debris, and of course, serving as food for countless species of other animals. All insects have exoskeletons, outer skeletons that maintain the body's structural integrity and protect the internal organs from harm. But on beetles they're especially thick and hard, and often ornate and colorful. The exoskeleton is a series of plates made of a plastic-like material called chitin that bonds with proteins in different ways from species to species, making them either very flexible or very rigid. It's also covered with a waxy substance that holds in moisture in dry climates and keeps out moisture in damp climates. The fact that beetles' muscles are anchored to this strong suit of armor gives these tiny creatures their enormous strength, enabling them to lift objects hundreds of times their own weight. And some cuticles hold minuscule, layered, light-reflecting structures that give off a bright iridescent sheen, such as that of the beautiful scarab beetles. All beetles are placed in the taxonomical order Coleoptera, Latin for sheathed wing. This refers to the hardened pair of wings that are characteristic of the order. The four wings are the elytra. They are not used for flying. They serve to protect the abdomen and the fragile membranous hind wings, the ones that are used for flying. A beetle's life cycle has four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The worm-like larva emerge after a few days and start eating, and some are already predators at this stage, eating other insects. They molt several times, each time emerging larger and more developed. The larval stage can last from weeks to, in some species, more than 10 years. At the end of this stage, the larva secrete a silky substance that will form a cocoon. This pupal resting stage can last from days to months. And upon completion, the completely transformed adult beetle emerges. Beetles are everywhere. Some live in rainforests, some in deserts, some in trees, some in crops, some in buildings, some in streams, creeks, ponds, and lakes. Some examples you might know. The dung beetle. Dung beetles search for dung with their antenna, which serve as smelling and tasting sensors. They shape it into nearly perfectly round balls with their legs and roll them into their nests. There, the females lay eggs in the dung and then cover the nest with more dung. When the eggs hatch, the larvae survive by eating the dung balls, eventually growing into adult dung beetles. The Hercules beetle. This family of beetle is found mostly in the rainforest of Central and South America. They have thick plates on their heads from which a single horn or a pair of horns protrudes. The largest of the Hercules beetles can grow to more than 6 inches long, and they're strong. They can lift objects 850 times their own weight. The Firefly More than 2,000 species of fireflies or lightning bugs are found around the world, and they use their bioluminescence organs on their lower to males of other species, as their female partners would, and then eat the unlucky would-be suitors when they approach. The Ladybug There are about 5,000 known species in the genus Cochinella, and they all have colorful forewings, elytra, usually reddish, though they can be orange, pink, or yellow with black spots. Nearly all species are considered beneficial as their food consists of aphids and other plant-destroying insects. A single ladybug may eat as many as 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. Most cultures consider the ladybug an omen of good luck. The Whirligig Beetle 
These are several hundred types of aquatic beetles, some of which you've probably seen swimming on the surface of a pond or creek. They gather in groups and swim in circular patterns, their flattened back legs serving as oars that propel them over the water, and their antenna alerting them to the movements of injured insects, which they grasp with their elongated forelegs and eat. 